Sports of Carlos Pet Rendezvous. Thanks for joining us so oh, early in the morning. Thanks for having me. Great way to start the morning. Uh, and who do we have in your lap? This is Coco. Coco. Coco Chanel. She was named by my teenagers. And she is beautiful, little snuggle bug. And we're, we're going to talk more about her little hair accessory uh, in a minute. But you must be gearing up for, for someone who doesn't know what Carlos Pet Rendezvous is. Tell us, tell us about it. Well, um, we're a pet resort. We have a lot under one roof, which is why we call it the rendezvous for pets. Um, we have a grooming salon. That's why she has the little ribbon here with the rhinestone. We have a self-serve dog wash. We have overnight care uh, for pets to sleep over as guests and doggy daycare and food and supplies. So this is good for people who are both living in the valley and maybe heading out of town for the Christmas vacation or people who are coming into town for the Christmas vacation week don't want to leave their pets at home. You have something for everyone. Exactly, exactly. We, you know, we, the way, uh, I've done this for 30 years, the way I set up this facility a year and a half or so ago was to have the dogs be on vacation at the same time mm. the owners were. So they can come and play with us when they can't be with you if you're on vacation and um, you're going skiing for the day or whatever. They can have a day of play in the snow um, or in the pool in the summer. And then we have doggy daycare also. So dogs can play with us again while people are out during the day doing things. and. If you're staying at a resort that doesn't allow pets, you can sleep with us at night and actually be be with you during the day or be well, with their yep. owners during the day. We're open seven days a week, eight to six. Now, when you say you can sleep with us, you mean the dogs? Yes, of course. Because you don't have beds for people? Yeah, but we've we've had a lot of requests. <laughs> 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 can I stay? The kennel, the, you, uh, know, the, the, you have beautiful facilities, but I don't think they're quite big enough for uh, probably a family of four to <laughs> no, there, there's our lounge, and that's uh, we sleep with pets in that room. This is uh, this is also kitties in the lounge, um, array of pet supplies. So a lot going on there. Now you mentioned the day of play, and I think you also have even like uh, hourly uh, packages that you have. So if you don't necessarily even have to, to kennel your dog no. there overnight, if you're like you said, if you're going skiing for the day, you get your dog up, and you don't want to leave him in the condo. Or, or wherever you're staying for the entire day, you bring them to Carlos Pet Rendezvous. Yes, we do uh, half days, full days, and basically we're geared so that that animal is having fun while you're out having fun and you're both tired at the end of the day. And you've got everything, you can you do it outdoors, but you even have like an indoor room, which indoor is Indoor playroom, so if it's really cold or raining or really hot in the summer, then there's the indoor play area. There's the pool in the summer. <laughs> which it, is an ice skating rink in the winter. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's upside down, it's gonna be a snow mountain. This, we're gonna snow, blow all the snow and make it a, a king of the mountain uh, thing. Let's talk about your do-it-yourself services, because we're watching someone do, give their dog a do-it-yourself bath. Yes, yeah, so that is no appointment necessary. People can come in whenever. They don't need to bring anything but themselves and the dog. And they can actually roll up their sleeves, bring their coffee, and give their pet a bath. A while back, a friend of mine on Facebook had a very funny thread going about a skunk incident. Have you ever had someone bring their dog after a skunk incident oh, in there? Always. That's probably above and beyond the self-serve um, <laughs> just because we yeah. we have a medley of treatments. We treat them before the bath and that's hard to get rid of. Can you get rid of it? It's amazing yeah. how... <clears throat> you can but there's what happens is if you those for those of you who are at home if you put warm water or anything on them before you treat them with the product, you're going to actually open the pores to let the skunk odor into the pores and you'll ah, never get rid of it. Great. So the trick for those of them, people at home is that you actually... Don't do anything. Use a skunk product before you wet, wet them down that is, and let them sit. That is good to know because that's probably your first instinct is to saturate wash your dog. Wash it off, yeah, yes. Yeah, exactly. And water won't wash it off anyway. And making it worse. Yes. That's, that's great. You learn something new every day on White Mountains TV. <laughs> um, now, let's talk about her little hair accessory right there. It looks like she's decked out for Christmas. She is. Um, this is a feather that has a rhinestone in it, and we use these as well as uh, we've got flannel bandanas that have gifts and Merry Christmas on them. So everybody gets a little accessory when they come in and get uh, treated in our salon. We have spa products that are really nice. Um, ginger, oatmeal, lavender. Mm. Uh, we have scent of the month, which is... Um, what is it? 
plum, plum something this month. It's new. It's the <laughs> early part of December, so I'm thinking frosted sugar plum. Hey, if there it's we not go. skunk, then I'm happy. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> right. Um, so uh, you also mentioned that coming up on Christmas for dogs who are going to be staying with you, very special meal coming up. Yes, we have venison holiday stew. We had turkey at Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day dinner, and venison holiday stew for Christmas. So once again, if you're going away for the holidays and you feel like you, your pet is missing out from that <laughs> dinner, they're not if they come to my place. Oh my, I've seen you prepare some <laughs> meals before for some of your dogs, and it's amazing what you go through. It's like preparing a, you know, a full uh, three-course meal for, for people. We Actually, do. I think we, it takes more time. Yeah, we have a full kitchen. We have a big freezer for lot, the, a lot of people are feeding raw these days, yeah. which takes up a lot of space. It's different than a bag of dog food. So we do prepare those meals, and you got to see that. Yep. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Uh, now, what are we going to be giving away? This morning. So I'm going to give an option. Um, we have a free day of play mm -hmm. and or a self-serve dog wash. So people could choose which they'd like and they could just pick up that coupon at my place. Either one is great for this time yeah. of year. Like I yeah. said, you're, taking, you're going skiing, bring it, let your dog have fun for the day. No need to keep him cooped up. Or if, uh, if you're like me and you, uh, you have a dog and you want to wash that dog but you don't want to, where are you going to do it in the winter? You can't take him out in the backyard yeah. and spray him down with the hose and the yeah. bathtub gets full of dog fur. Yeah. Bring him to Carlos. Let her yeah. deal with it. <laughs> yeah. And you know, the, everything is elevated. You don't even have to lift. The tables go up and down. There's stairs into the tub. I've groomed for 30 years. My back mm. has had it. So <laughs> I've, I've created that for everyone that comes as well. All right. Uh, do we have that question? We have a, a dog-related question. And uh, I think our director, Hans, may even jump in that tub sometimes to to bathe himself off. Maybe like a, a morning, Hans, when you're late coming in here, you can just stop by Carlos Pet Rendezvous. Do us all a favor. Thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're just kidding, Hans. <laughs> How many dog breeds does the American Kennel Club recognize? Those are your options. 245, 157, 93, or 210. 356-6619. This is live. This is local. And the first caller with the correct answer wins right now. Good morning, White Mountains TV. What's your answer? 210. Is it 210? It is not. That's a good guess, but try again. Let's see if someone else can benefit. Good morning, White Mountains TV. What's your answer? 157B. 157. That sounded confident. Who is this? John. Chad. John, where are you calling from? Uh, Bartlett. Do you have a dog, John? Yes, I do. All right, because even if you didn't, it'd probably be worthwhile to go get one <laughs> after winning this prize. <laughs> Um, so you've won your gift certificate to Carlos Pet Rendezvous to use for a dog wash or a, uh, what's it called, an hour of play? A day of play. A day of play, a whole day of play. I almost shortchanged you there, John. Um, stay on the line, we're going to get your information, tell you how to claim your prize. Okay. And you're on hold, don't go anywhere. Uh, and that's how we play Watch and Win. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we, did we miss anything? I think I would just like invite everybody to come for a tour. We're right on Route 16, one mile or so out of Conway, south of Conway. So it's, we're not hard to find, and you don't need an appointment to come see the facility. All right. Carlos Pet Rendezvous. This is Carlos Schwartz. Tell you saw on White Mountains TV. We'll be back after this. People have long enjoyed the Mount Washington Valley Resort experience. At long last.